Well, good morning, Bahar Tekteshian. Thank Hi. you for joining us here good in morning. Dallas, Texas. Thank How you for are you? Me. Good, thanks. Great. I haven't spoken with you in a while. I want my audience to know that you are the personality who knows everything. <laughs> what are you talking about today, Bahar? You know, today we're talking about ways to improve your self-esteem and to feel better on the inside out. September is Self-Improvement Month. Um, so, you know, there's four months left until the new year, so it gives you a little bit of time to really assess where you are with your personal goals and make all necessary changes. Okay, how can we implement some of these changes? Because, you know, so many people tell us about self-help. What can we do to change ourselves? Well, first you want to, you know, assess assess where you are with your self-improvement goals. You want to see how am I doing, what goals have I met, what have I not met. Um, a lot of people try to, you know, their goal might be to exercise more or maybe lose more weight or maybe they have financial goals. So one tip that you can do is to set like a monthly countdown. You can tell yourself, I have three weeks left until the end of the month, two weeks left until the, to the end of the month. Where am I with my goals? Um, another thing you can do is to make sure that you set small goals that are easily at at attainable because when you set small goals and you meet them, that gives you a confidence boost and it gives you the motivation to continue moving on to your next goal. Um, and the idea really here is that when you set goals and you improve things in your life, you feel more confident on the inside and you feel more confident and you look better and more confident on the outside as well. Do these improvement work for all? your diet, it works for all things? Yes, I mean, you know, whatever your goal may be, the improvements that you make in your own life, they're, they're personal to you and no goal is too small or too big as long as it's enriching your own life. Um, now, <clears throat> now, another way that you can really enrich your life and, you know, improve your confidence on the inside out is to, you know, work on improving your smile. Two out of five women said that, you know, they'd get a confidence boost if their smile was improved and 36% said that it would actually make them happier. And there are easy ways for you to really work on your smile and the appearance of your teeth. Obviously, you can practice good oral care, you can go to the dentist, you can floss and brush your teeth, you can use whitening products, but really the best way to improve your smile is by using invisible Align Clear Aligners. Now, these are fantastic. It's a great option for, for adults. It's a series of removable liners. They gradually improve your teeth over time, and they're barely visible, so no one's even going to know that you're in treatment. Um, they're more affordable than you, may, than you may think. The price is actually comparable to metal braces. And not only do they make your teeth look better, but they can also fix major teeth issues as well. So these are great. Again, um, they're perfect for adults. And when you improve your smile, this changes your life. And it's a, it's a small change that really has a huge impact on how you look and feel. And you know, gives you again the confidence to either maybe go out and get your next job, maybe get that promotion that you were looking for, maybe meet that partner that you were seeking out. It's all about you know feeling better and doing better in your own life. All right, Bahar, what do you have next for us? Well, next, you know, I wanted to mention some fall beauty trends and fashion trends. Again, this is another easy confidence boost. Um, in the fall for be for hair, one thing that you can do is you can change your look. Um, by getting a haircut, you know, changing the style of your hair. Or on the runway and um, on the red carpet, we're seeing lots of buns. Buns are so fun. Um, we're seeing low buns, textured buns. Celebrities have been playing a lot with hair color, platinums, purples, reds, lots of fun ways to change your hair color. As far as beauty goes, we can all try to experiment a little bit with red bold lips. Um, it's a pop of color. Uh, we're also noticing rosy cheeks, you know, dewy cheek, cheek color, bronze on on your eyelids as far as eyeshadow goes, that's beautiful for the fall. Um, so those are some of the major trends that we're seeing as far as beauty goes on the runway. And again, it's an instantaneous way for you to kind of feel your best and look your best. All right. Do you have this all wrapped up on the web for us? Yes, you can actually go to lifeminute.tv for more info. And what have you been up to? You know, just, you know, getting ready and excited for fall. Again, it's a busy time for all of us, but you need to make sure that you take the time to relax and work out and reduce your stress levels. You know, I've been trying to incorporate more exercise and yoga and meditation into my own life because, again, this makes me feel better. And I know a lot of our viewers and listeners, when they take the time to relax and meditate and motivate themselves, they feel better. They're better partners. They're better parents. They're better colleagues and coworkers, better friends. It's all you know, this big circle of doing good for yourself and then being a better person for the outside world, too. 
Spoken so true, Bahar. I thank you so very much for starting our day with these great things that we can implement right away. Bahar Tech Teshin, thank you for being my guest as always. Thank you, Alex.